Hi guys, it's book haul time. Let's start. First I got the very very ugly copy of Shades of Earth by Beth Revis. Jennifer from Some Like It Paranormal had actually already gifted this one to me as an ebook, but I had already ordered this one by the time she gave it to me, so I couldn't, like, return it. I'm still glad I got it, though, because now I have the whole collection, even if it's hideous. I mean, just look at this beauty. I, I, it just, it's beautiful, and it's just perfect. Now look at this other beauty. It's just perfect also, and it just, really nicely, it matches. And then look at this shit. What's up with this? What's up with this? Who was the freaking genius that thought of changing the very last cover of the very last book, whatever? I mean, I don't mind it if the paperbacks are different, like this one's. I, I, I don't care. I could care less. Mine are hardcover. I don't care. But when you pull stuff like this, it just pisses me off. It looks really ugly in my shelf next to these two. It's just bleh. Because I have OCD and I arrange my books by color. Can you see it? Like, look, bluish, greenish, more bluish than reddish than blackish. And then you can't see the bottom of the shelf, but they're like purplish and pinkish. And these are purplish and pinkish. This is bleh. greenish, grayish, ugly. But I'm still very excited to read it because the Across the Universe series has been one of my favorites of all time, so yay! Even this is ugly! Next I got This Is What Happy Looks Like by Jennifer E. Smith. It's really yellow, like really yellow. I don't have that many yellow books, so it's also kind of out of place right now on my shelf, but I'm very excited to read this one. I got this one because um, last year, January 1st, I actually read The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith also. Duh. It was the first book I read from 2012 and I have to say that I just love these two covers. I love them. I just think they're really well designed and you know, you can tell that they're from the same author and even if they don't look so good in my shelf together because it's by colors and they don't exactly go together. Back to the books. Um, the statistical probability of Love at First Sight was super cute and funny and just, I don't know, perfect and really well balanced. There was a lot of... It touched... There was a lot of... It... It... Revol it... It went a lot around family and how hard sometimes relationships with our family can be and etc etc it was just a really nice cute and enjoyable read so i am hoping that this is what happy looks like it's just as cute just as pretty just as um meaningful and just great and it's much more thicker so i'm really excited ah! by the way it's about this guy that's famous i think and he gets an email from a stranger who's a normal girl i think and they start exchanging emails and I don't know what happens next, but I'm excited! Oh, and guys, look at what I found! Wally's and Edward Letters, 1931-1937, edited by Michael Bloch. I know this doesn't make that much sense to you, but um, I'm sure most of us have seen the King's Speech and we know about um, how Prince Edward abdicated to the throne to be with Wallace Simpson, so ah, ha, ha, it's about that. I love, love, love reading about history, which is probably not normal, but um, I love it. And I've always been sort of obsessed with these two as a couple. And there's actually a movie called um, We, which is also really good. I really enjoyed that movie. But um, it talks about their relationship. And people think that it's this huge epic love story. All he gave up the throne for her. But if what I know about them is correct, it wasn't that much of a fairy tale ending. And the book, it's about their personal letters. And yeah, you can just see everything that went on with Wally's way before she met the prince and stuff. So I'm really excited to know more about their lives. It's just fantastic and fabulous. 
those are the books that I got during the week and let me books you got this one. Let me know what books you got this week as well as links to your blog post if you're making a blog post. Um, so I can visit back and follow back and yeah. See you later. Bye.